was reading through these and I saw some interesting questions here. So I thought, you know what, why not make a video? It's been a while, which I do have a legacy and an ESC video uh, created. I just need to upload it. So there will be one of those probably, I want to say it's a legacy video. I think the last video I uploaded was EOC. So yeah, let's let's go into this poll here and let's uh, start with the first question. Which of these major, or blah, pfft, already off to a bad start. Words are hard, whatever. Okay, which of these smaller scaling updates would you be eager for us to work on? Choose all that apply. Okay, so we can choose more than one. Um, we got 120 max cape, aquarium, hunter, extreme scaling, grim maven agility, hunter elite, imp revival, all those. I'll, I'll let you guys read them. I won't read out anything. I'll, I'll, I'll mostly just pick out things that interest me. So one thing that interests me here is the Impling Revival. Uh, I was going to make a video uh, revolving around Implings, but then I was like, ah, she is your PKer. Let's kind of stick away from that. So that's that's what I did. I ended up deleting it. I made a decent amount of money, though. So we'll go ahead and tag that on. Um, Two-player agility course. Uh, no, nothing else, really. Okay. So, okay, so the next question. Which of these largest killing updates would you be eager for us to work on? Choose out all the blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, nothing really. PVM or I'll say skilling raids and counters. I've seen some people talk about that, so I'll choose that. Okay, which of these combat updates? Okay, this is where PK comes, and this is where we want to go to. Okay, so which of these combat updates would you be eager for us to work on? Choose all that apply. Okay, Abyssal Monsters. Um, Slayer creatures, eh, if they put them in the wilderness, then great. If not, I don't really care. Cast Wars 2, Dungeon Master, free-to-play boss, similar to Giant Mole. Eh, I might choose that. I just get free-to-play something. New Dragons, fuck that. Seasonal Darkscape, okay. So our first kind of, uh, well, okay, there's prayer training via combat. Uh, I don't know if that's PvP combat or just, like, general combat, so... We'll skip that. Seasonal Darkscape, though. Okay, so this is something that I'm kind of half and half on. So, I love Darkscape. I, I have really enjoyed the whole no rules, really, type feeling. It, it was extremely unforgiving, and that's what I liked about it. It was, you can't trust anyone. It's basically like the wilderness on fucking steroids, which got me hyped up. Uh, I... <laughs> The only thing I didn't really like about it was it was solely legacy mode. Now, so, a lot of you guys are probably like, fuck EOC, I'm a legacy PKer. But when you think about it, for those people who don't like PKing with clans or friends chats, EOC is typically the way to go. So with EOC, you can escape teams pretty it may not be easy depending on uh how much the team pks together how well they work together or really how knowledgeable about pvp uh the individual members are but i find it fairly easy to escape from teams while using eoc legacy mode on the other hand that's kind of a different ballpark so i'm either way I'm on fucking board for Darkscape either way. But I would like to see them also include EOC into it. Uh, I was kind of shocked that they didn't have EOC on it. But I can see why they did it. Uh, in my mind they did it because uh, EOC was pretty controversial. They're going up with another controversial update. So they're not going to risk the chance of less people playing uh, this game mode that they spent all this time developing when they could play it safe and just do it legacy mode and more people would uh, get involved with it. However, whether it be adding two different modes, I don't think that's the answer. If they made, if they included EOC, it would have to be with legacy. Because, I mean, if you if you add Legacy and EOC Darkscape, that's that's dividing it too much. That's putting too much work in. They, they should just make it one uh, game mode. and uh, but, but I do feel that EOC should be included there with Legacy. But that being said, Darkscape might be coming back. 
Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, Two-player boss, I'll go ahead and add that because I really don't like uh, doing shit with other people. So, yeah. A weapon diversity. Making weapon types feel different. I'll add that. Um, not sure what they mean. It's, they, they say making weapon types feel different. I mean, you can't cast spells with two swords. Or use, you can't use magic abilities with two swords. You can't really use range abilities with two wands. Not sure, but hey, it, it sounds like it might be interesting. So I'll go ahead and add that on there. Okay, which of these world event style updates would you be eager for us to work on? Just all that apply. Damon Heim spills onto the surface, reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness. Okay, this is something that, okay, no, fuck you. This is something that I've actually talked about quite a bit. Um, if those of you guys who are subscribed or are watching this have been subscribed long enough to uh, see my account, I think it was, it was titled New Forenthy, something like that. But, yeah, reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness. So, uh, basically, all of the wilderness, in my opinion, is pretty barren. But let's kind of go into specifics here. So where I'm standing right now, okay, I don't want to exit out of this because I'm not sure if it'll save uh, my progress or else I would show you guys on a map. Maybe I'll edit a map and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Maybe I won't. Who knows? It, it really depends on how lazy I am right now. So, uh, barren parts of the wilderness. Uh, wilderness volcano, uh, not the one with the cursed energy. The one where I'm standing at right now. Far northeastern wilderness. Why not put a boss there? Shit. Or some type of uh, event kind of like war bands that happens at certain times during the day. I'm not really liking that idea. I think a permanent boss would work a little bit better. Um, but once again, I don't work for Jagex. Um, another barren part of the wilderness. Let's see. Uh, just south of here. Um, at the Calgarian Demons or whatever. Uh, why not remove those from the wilderness? There's one, there's a, uh, dungeon for that in Damonheim or something like that. Why not put, uh, kind of like a permanent boss there? Okay, I'm, basically, everything I say is going to be a permanent boss. Or mini bosses. Kind of like Revenant, something like that. Uh, I've only seen two people there. Okay, I take that back. I've seen three people there. One of them was me. One of them was a clan mate that, uh, was like, shiz, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, killing Calgarian demons. He was like, what? I was like, in the wilderness, don't worry, okay? I'm not completely fucked in the head. <laughs> and another guy was, a third guy was someone who just ran by. And I think it was going to Chaos Elemental. Um, and we just gang raped him. It, okay, rape that, we didn't gang rape him. We gang made love to him. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Okay, but reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness. They have a lot of wiggle room with this one. So, uh, I know uh, sea monsters attack, shoreline's no longer safe, it's not really specific. Uh, Damonheim spills onto the surface, not really specific. Reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness. This can be anywhere from the wilderness is going to return to what it, or parts of it's going to return to what it looked like before Zamrak blew it up or whatever. Um, it can start getting some green in it. Who knows more? There can be like little uh, towns in it. Once again, who knows? They have, uh, uh, they can basically have a field day with this shit uh, if this actually passes, which it's not going to pass, let's be honest. Although I would love to see it pass. But the fact that it's on the pole means someone somewhere at Jagex is thinking about it. So that, that's basically how we get shit past as PKers. We get one person who's like, you know what? We've kind of screwed over PKers long enough. Let's let's throw them a little biscuit and shut them up for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness. Just, <clears throat> I just love see, uh, seeing that there in the polls. Just reading it kind of... Uh. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. So, which of these areas would you be eager for us to work on? Choose all that apply. Dungeoneering, fuck that. Abyss, fuck that. Um, exploring the wilderness before the explosion. Fuck you! Uh, once again, another thing I talked about in a previous video. Uh, 
thing, the thing with New Fourth again. Why not make a part of the wilderness like Portal or something else like that that you can go back in time to previously before Zamrak blew it up and I hope if this passes and they do it or they not even if it passes if they still do it sometime later in the future I pray that they fucking make it a PvP area because I already know PVMers that do vote for the ugh, that do vote for this are gonna be like I don't want it PvP but it has wilderness in there, and, and, and I'm just hoping that Jagex doesn't fuck us again and makes it non-PVP if this actually is implemented into the game. But exploring the wilderness before the explosion, basically, I don't know, maybe imagine running through the wilderness. Okay, we'll take where I'm at right now. Imagine running through the wilderness and you come to a giant mountain. It's not a volcano, it's a fucking mountain because it hasn't uh, blown its top yet. Imagine running through the uh, wilderness and uh, you come across a small town. Um, you go through like farming villages, that type of stuff. Because uh, according, okay, so I'm a wilderness nerd. You guys know that. I'm PK. Uh, I love the wilderness. Uh, prior to Zamrak blowing it up, it was a super fertile area. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, basically it was all green, that type of stuff. So, yeah, exploring the wilderness before the explosion, it could be extremely interesting to have kind of like a PvP area that doesn't have the whole you're going to get fucked around the next corner feel to it. So, <laughs> I hope I hope that's the best way to describe it to you guys. Because I feel like that's, that's uh, kind of what uh, most PVMers and skillers have in the back of their mind when they're out in the wilderness is... Oh God, when is a PK going to come and find me? Okay, so let, let's keep going down. Fossil Island, Giant's Homeworld. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll go with mysterious content. I, I don't know. I'm not really interested in two more. Uh, we'll go with Demon World or an Abyss. Hopefully they're making PvP zones. I doubt it, but... Exploring the wilderness before the explosion. Fuck yeah, let's get it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so ne next update. Which of these smaller story updates would you be eager for us to work on? Um, and and by the way, this was the last question I read down to. So maybe this uh, entire rest of this video is not PvP related. And God, I hope it's not uh, going that way because I'm not seeing anything... Uh, PvP related in here, so I don't know. We'll, we'll just go through it, and if it's if there's nothing else about PK or PvP, well, shit, guys, sorry. We'll talk more at the end. So, which of these smaller story updates would you be eager for us to work on? We got boss quests, learning about Raxlor, Broken Home Two, Broken Minds. I'm not sure if I've done Broken more, uh, Home or whatever. Dragon Rider, Ernst Longsword. Ernest becomes a lovable weapon. Okay, that uh, is actually kind of interesting. Lost Grove, Menaphos, one small favor too. Fuck that. God, fuck that. <laughs> Who in Jagex? Okay, so imagine if, if this did pass and the next one small favor was actually legitimately a one small favor. And they did that just to fuck with players. Um, random event quests. Players infiltrate the random events. Eh. Uh, wise old man quest quest point unlock shop um we'll go ahead and do that that's interesting i th feel like uh, rewarding people a bit for doing quests isn't too bad we'll do dragon rider quest mostly because uh one of the book series uh i read is about dragon riders aragon series where the inheritance uh what is it was we'll, we'll say inheritance cycle i think it was the inheritance trilogy but then they made it into cycle Whatever, great. If you guys are into reading and you kind of like a fantasy type medieval magic, dragons, uh, people hacking each other to death with swords, uh, Inheritance Cycle by Christopher, Christopher Paolini, something like that, uh, just Google Aragon and you'll find it. Not the movie. The movie fucked the books, but that's not about RuneScape, so let's get back to it. Okay, larger story updates. Uh, Death of Chivalry... Uh, Desert Quest, Desert Treasure 2, Manus 2, Underground Pass 2, 
rework its solid wounds. Uh, not really, uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and that, and that, and that's it, oh, we got fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, okay, there we go, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that, there's nothing really PvP there. Okay, which of these other updates would be eager for us to work on? Decluttering the game world. Dedicated month of everyone making ninja fixes. Uh, well, most of the PvP updates, it seems, have come through ninja fixes, so. But we're gonna. Okay, fuck you, dude. We're gonna do that. Group finder system. Improve chat. Interface simplification. That's pretty easy. Minigame hub. I saw Wilderness, so I instantly clicked it, but now I realize, eh. We'll go ahead and do that. That Wilderness in it, we'll do that. Uh, pet Park, Prestiging, using XP to level minions. And that, that, mm. I feel like that could be abused a bit, though. Uh, if they did it in the sense that it re-rolled your combat level... That could be that could bring a pretty interesting dynamic to PvP. Uh, you could have people re-rolling stats that besides just the whole reset to level one that uh, you normally find. Um, I'm not too sure about it. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that because eh, I doubt Jagex would overlook something that critical. Okay, reducing and simplifying all game currencies. Mm, I actually really enjoy the fact that there's like 40 other currencies and I can't figure out what the fuck is going on in that currency pouch. Okay. Unique clue scrolls can only be finished by a single person. And that, I'm pretty sure that's the same as what they are now. What, whatever, we'll do it. World server reduction. I kind of like the sense, uh, okay, looking at this from a PvP standpoint, there's two different standpoints that I can think of just right now at the top of my head. So, if you have 20 worlds instead of 50 worlds, that's 30 less worlds you gotta hop. That concentrates people uh, who are going into the wilderness of these 20 worlds. So, it would make it a little bit easier to find people if you're a PvPer, which is great. However, if you're not that confident as a PKer, or if you're just not that good as a PKer, or if you're a PVM or slash skiller, that means you've got only 20 other worlds to hop in the wilderness, and odds are you're going to be running into a PKer a lot more. So there's kind of two little two two faces or two sides of this corn here. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that because. Even though I'd love to have uh, people more concentrated, in the well, uh, more concentrated into the wilderness, which is kind of why I like going to foreign servers. That's why you find people risking a lot. Uh, most of the time, when you go to foreign servers, is because they've only got like one or two worlds for all these people. And odds are, if you look somewhere in the wilderness, and there's only two worlds, you're gonna find someone on there. So I'm kind of for that, but at the same time. That's not going to help bring anyone new into PvP if they're constantly getting fucked by a veteran PK. So we're 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 going to go ahead and we'll, we'll skip that. And that is actually the fucking end of the world. There was no other wilderness things besides uh, more pets. But uh, more more pets. That would be extremely interesting. What pets would they add? We'll we'll do this. What pets would they add? Um. A wilderness pet, I guess, would just be a specific pet. Maybe it would be like a skeleton. Or, uh, you guys, who is that? Posty Pete or something? He's like a skull with crossbones. Uh, he's like the mailman, maybe. Maybe you can get a version of him, uh, minus the mailman. Uh, shit. That would be interesting, actually. That uh, now, now, the more that I talk about that, the more I kind of want it. But, whatever. Uh, that's kind of what I've talked about. So we're going ahead and uh, submit our uh, little vote there. Okay, let's uh, let's look through this. Okay. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, nothing wilderness. What is that? Nothing wilderness. 
Where's the lure list? Oh, seasonal darkscape. Okay, 6%. So, that actually surprises me. Uh, abyssal monsters, high level slayer creatures. Okay, that. Didn't we just have. Didn't Menaphos count as a slayer update? 12% weapon diversity. What the fuck, guys? Uh. I guess they're voting like me. They don't know what the fuck it means. It could be interesting. It could be a complete waste of time. But yeah, 6% seasonal darkscape. It's not It's not in last place. Castle Wars 2 is in last place, which, okay, that makes sense. But hey, we're not. We got a chance here, boys. Seasonal to 6%. Huh. Oh, fuck, guys. It is in fucking first place. Now, how long is that going to last? I know the poll's been out a few days, or I think it's been out a few days. So, 34%. Uh, man, I'm just ecstatic right now. That is that is just shocking to me. Now, the reason I think this is in first place is possibly because people are like, hey, Let's reclaim the wilderness and not make it part of PvP. Now, I'm hoping that that's not going to be a part of it, but 34%. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, which of these areas would you be eager? Man, we um, we started at the bottom. Now we're at the top, boys. <laughs> I don't know. It, if it doesn't matter if they don't make it a PvP environment, but hey, I love the wilderness. Maybe I'll try exploring it, even if it's not PvP environment. Who knows? The fucking eleven percent. Mm. Then again, if you're looking at this at a conspiracy standpoint, maybe Jagex just wants to work on the world in S&P cares, and they're just fuzzing all this data. Okay, uh, smaller story updates. Is this... Uh... Okay, this is the last world in this one, so we'll, we'll skip those. So, uh, which of these updates? Decluttering the game world 9%. Okay, I can see why people like that. Um, where's the wilderness? Okay, that's at 7%, so not the worst, not the best, but let's, I just, okay, I just want to go back and double check this. Okay. 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 Okay, so uh, I wasn't just uh, projecting my uh internal views and hopes for this game we're actually we're 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 set up pretty good in this pool guys normally you see anything wilderness anything pvp it's immediately at the bottom i think typically it gets like two percent maybe something like that which yeah not not uh not that great but we start talking about uh, thirty-four percent here. That's, uh, that's starting to make some progress, and eleven percent. Okay, Fossil Island and Mysterious Content—they're they're right behind it. But hopefully, Jagex sees these pull views or these uh, pull percentages and are like, okay. Maybe we got some interest in wilderness, and an extension of that, maybe we have some interest in PvP. I know in 2018, the year ahead, or something like that, I forget what exactly it was called, they talked about reworking Bounty Hunter, which, I don't know, personally, just make the Bounty Hunter, make it, instead of having to kill players, 
I know it kills me to say because I enjoy going there and finding PKers, and I know uh, people like feeling the reward of earning a kill. No one earns the kill. I go there looking for fights. People, I get a target. He immediately follows me and says, what's your rating? People don't earn the kills anymore. You have Iron Man on the ESC worlds. You've got Farmers on both worlds. I know you guys, like Jagex, spent so much time making this, but just remove Bounty Hunter, the system. Make these drops, rare drops, for certain. Make it, okay, revitalize in the wilderness, or you've got exploring the wilderness before an explosion, and you've got uh, reclaiming parts of the wilderness. Take the Bounty Hunter rewards, Fuck Bounty Hunter, it's not working, it's obviously not working. Make them rare drops for new bosses in the wilderness as part of these reclaiming barren parts of the wilderness or part of this explo exploring the wilderness before the explosion. Take uh, these updates, and even if you got something planned with it, bam, you kill two birds with one stone. You get rid of uh, these two servers that people complain about. You give Iron Man a new way to earn it without having to fight other people. Because I go to ESC World, I want to fight. They're like, oh, I'm Iron Man. I can't fight. What the fuck do you mean you can't fight? Well, I'm an Iron Man. I can't fight. No, you, you're an Iron Man, which means you wanted the extra challenge, but you don't want the challenge of having to earn the kill. I don't know. That, that's once again bitching. Uh, <laughs> take those, take those rewards, put them into this new content, and then you also don't got to worry about upkeep of those two servers or patching it or expanding those servers. You can because maybe these updates will, maybe these updates will do better than Bounty Hunter. If they do, then great. You have you have all these new rewards. And you get rid of the Iron Man and stuff complaining that they have to go PvP for it. Now they can PvM for it. So, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on it. But like that, 11%, 34%. We, mm, mm, we're, we're moving up, boys. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Legacy and ESC video coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and sh share your thoughts in the comments. I've had some interesting ideas pop up in previous videos that have made me kind of stop and think, you know what? That's not a half bad idea. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I haven't said it in a while, so I hope I get it cracked. I'm not exactly sure how I used to say it, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys are having a spectacular day. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.